Poppy Playtime, Chapter 4 is now one of the most anticipated games! When will the fourth chapter be released? How will it start and who will be waiting for us there? There are several challenges that the developers are facing, and they didn't manage to avoid these issues in the third chapter. This includes assembling a team and learning to work together within this team. Furthermore, every team member has their own personal problems and life that needs attention. It's unlikely everything will go smoothly. We will probably be waiting quite a while for the fourth chapter. And this is perfectly normal. After all, the entire development team is also human. As we saw towards the end, when the game was supposed to be released, a small hiccup occurred. Some animators, specifically from MOB Entertainment, left the company. I believe this is one of the reasons that influenced the delay of the third chapter, so similar issues should not be ruled out either, even if we calculate everything exactly and estimate when the continuation will be released. Let's admit that the game's delay was justified, and it turned out to be high quality, despite many people screaming for a month. When will our third chapter be released? And here it is! Released and turned out to be very scary. I think they will continue this trend, and the fourth chapter may turn out to be scarier than the third, second, and first combined. How will the fourth chapter start? It will likely begin from where we were, but as the third chapter showed us, it didn't start where we fell in the second chapter, although we visited that place. But there, we were knocked out, there was a crash, and someone clearly had to save us. A year and a half ago, when I speculated about what would happen in the third chapter, I assumed that Kissy Missy would save us. But unexpectedly, the main villain of the third chapter, Catnap, saved us. Not out of goodwill, but to eat us. But first, to play with us, as cats love to play with their prey. Despite cats being quite adorable creatures to humans, Catnap is a monster, and this time, we are the prey. And at the beginning of the fourth chapter, I suppose there will be just as unexpected a start, but one can speculate endlessly. Let's base our assumptions on what we know and what we have seen. We end up in an elevator, initially wanting to go down, but then we hear that something is wrong with Kissy Missy, so we start going up. So, will the fourth chapter start and continue right where we were throughout the third chapter, implying that we just can't leave the orphanage that easily? Well. Suppose we went up. What are we supposed to see there? Firstly, we'll find out what happened to Kissy Missy, and here we have two options. The first one, she died. The sounds we heard in the ending were clearly sounds of a struggle. Kissy Missy started fighting with someone, meaning someone attacked her. But who it was remains a mystery for now. One might assume it was the small, smiling creatures, but could they attack such a big Kissy Missy? After all, she is no less dangerous to them than they are to her. And as we have seen, they are capable of overpowering monsters that are tied up, i.e. already weakened. But if that's not the case, they could easily attack Catnap, which they did. They were actually very afraid of him, despite their numbers, and all they could do was submit to him. So the possibility of it being the small creatures is there, but not very likely. This leads to the most popular theory, prototype. What if he attacked Kissy Missy, and this is quite possible. He collects the bodies of dead monsters and clearly needs their bodies for something. At first, one could think that he simply collects the fruits of our labor. We kill a monster, and then he comes for its body. But as it turned out, he can kill by himself, and apparently he managed to catch Kissy Missy off guard and attack her. The second version of what happened upstairs is that Kissy Missy turned evil. We were all shocked when we saw this huge lady in the second chapter and the fact that she helped us. A bunch of theories have popped up about why Kissy Missy is good, or rather, why she's like that at all. Maybe all the monsters are essentially good, but most of them are influenced by prototype. Perhaps prototype really has the ability to influence the mind, and on the hour of joy tape, we saw Kissy Missy suddenly throwing Playtime Co. employees around and then running away, while at the same time, other monsters roam about killing the rest of the staff, all thanks to prototypes doing. 
As the number of monsters under his influence dwindles, it becomes much easier for him to take over someone else's mind, say Kissy Missy, and maybe her screams and growls indicate that she's resisting. But it's very painful for her. Which version resonates more with you? You can decide for yourself and write it in the comments. New monsters. I think the developers will definitely add new monsters in Chapter 4. One of them might be Boxy Boo. Yes, he's not a new monster. We all know him. He already exists in Project Playtime, and we are aware of what he's capable of. Yet, in the main storyline, we've only seen him on a tape. It's time for him to make a physical appearance before us. Boxy Boo is one of those monsters whose death we haven't seen yet. We know that Huggy Wuggy, Mommy Long Legs, Catnap, and his smiling kin who died by his own hands are gone, leaving Boxy Boo as one of the most well-known monsters remaining. I fully expect his appearance in Chapter 4, and it was hinted in the tape that he will finally show up. Personally, I'm not against it, as long as he's beautifully integrated into the storyline. Since this monster already exists, I think they'll find a place for him and come up with a fabulous backstory. Oh, we're waiting for additional tape about this if the developers deign to add Boxy Boo. The second most anticipated monster is Prototype. We've already mentioned that he appeared in every chapter, in the first as a reference on a tape, at the end of the second chapter, and now at the end of the third. Maybe in the fourth, we'll finally find out who he is and why he did all these quite unpleasant and terrible things. Of course, there's a theory that Prototype is actually good. He wanted to free the monsters, but a good being wouldn't manipulate children into opening the main doors so that everyone else could escape, although the Playtime Company itself is no less terrible. And a good being wouldn't orchestrate a massacre, wouldn't kill his own kin whom he was supposedly helping. And besides Prototype, they might add a completely new monster! Someone we haven't seen yet, and there might even be several, as in the third chapter, with the smiling creatures. Maybe it will be someone from the forgotten mascots we saw in the old first chapter in the form of a drawing or a toy. And the main question that interests all fans of the Poppy Playtime game, when will the fourth chapter be released? No sooner had the third one been released than everyone immediately started asking about the fourth. Why can't you all just sit still? On Twitter, Mob Entertainment posted that the development of Chapter 3 began in May 2023, so the development cycle was eight months. Where were the developers before that? They were working on other projects, Project Playtime, or their merchandise. And I would even say eight months for such quality work is very little. The developers not only met the short deadline, I get the feeling they actually did it faster than they planned. Despite all the problems, despite the setbacks, they managed it all. And maybe just for interest, they released an explanation, how long did the third chapter take to make? Or maybe it's a small hint at how long the fourth chapter will take? I wouldn't want to speculate too much, but I'll express my own personal opinion. I think the fourth chapter will be released in a year, or maybe a little less. But you can share your assumptions in the comments. When do you think the fourth chapter will come out? Who will be there, and who would you like to see, and what?